coming off the heels of FIFA 11's huge success, FIFA 12 had a lot to live up to. Annual franchises face the daunting task of balancing consistency and innovation, and FIFA 12 is able to do this perfectly. Welcome everyone, I'm Martin Tyler, he's Alan Smith, and we're going to talk about this match today from the commentary position. The new trinity of gameplay improvements, tactical defending, player impact engine, and precision dribbling, radically changed the style of play and instilled the game with an unparalleled sense of realism. Tactical defending plays a key role in FIFA's new feel. The new defensive system may initially come as a shock, but it proves to be far more satisfying and realistic than the homing missile style defending found in previous titles. Rather than hold a button to charge at the attacker, your player now contains the opponent from a few feet away, keeping him held back instead. Tackling is no longer automatic and requires you to actively decide when to stick a foot in. You can still go ahead and charge straight at the ball carrier, but at your own risk. This will leave large gaps in the defense, just like it would in real life. The presence of decision making and skill add a whole new facet to the game. Rather than existing as a quick means to win the ball and get back on offense, defense now requires patience as well as skill. While this new system is a big improvement, the steep learning curve that accompanies it is a definite problem. Despite my experience as a FIFA player, I began the game with several embarrassing losses to amateur level AI as I struggled to become accustomed with the new controls. While mastery of the new system is very rewarding, it makes it very difficult for those who simply wish to pick up and play. It is worth noting that you do have the option to switch back to last year's control scheme, but switching back to this feels primitive and clunky. The new player impact engine is another key part of FIFA 12. Rather than the scripted animations that drove collisions in previous games, the impact engine allows for heightened realism in jostling and tackling. Dispossessing opponents is now more rewarding than ever. Animations look great and tackles feel authentic. The tugging and pulling looks great and allows strong players to display their true sense of power. There are certainly problems with the engine, and it is likely that you will see some ridiculous mangling of bodies throughout your experience. However, these are rare and almost expected from such an ambitious engine upgrade. Another problem with the new engine is that referees often have a hard time judging fouls correctly. Players are sometimes pummeled by a defender without a call, while often a slight clip can result in a card. This is not exactly common, but it can be frustrating when it does occur. The third large addition of the game comes in the form of precision dribbling. This allows for more accurate ball control in close quarters, which really refines the experience. When in the presence of the touchline or opponent, the player automatically takes tighter touches. Manually using precision dribbling can allow for the right amount of space to pull off an important pass or shot in the face of an opponent. While it may not seem like a big deal, this change is immediately noticeable in gameplay and allows you to truly feel the difference between good and bad ball handlers. Shooting has received some minor tweaks as well, and these have a positive impact on the overall feel of the game. The trajectory of the ball is way more realistic, making it gratifying to score from long distance. There he is. And he's very, very good at it. And he's put it in the net for Chelsea! Finesse shots have also been refined, meaning that scoring goals from 90 degree angles is no longer a normal occurrence. Many of FIFA's game modes have been improved as well. Ultimate Team, which allows you to collect and trade real-life players, has been a hit since FIFA 09. The newest installment of this feature continues in the same direction, housing minor improvements. Online matches have seen big improvements to matchmaking, which now takes both teams and skill level into consideration when matching opponents. A disappointment in the online realm, however, is Pro Clubs. This feature lacks balance and has seen virtually no improvement over last year's installment. Career Mode has been improved a great deal over previous titles. The new scouting system and youth academy allow you to bring talent into your club and develop their abilities. Enhanced realism is also present in the game's constant drama. Transfer Deadline Day is a new addition that gives managers the option to take last minute trades while the clock counts down. Pleasing players is also an issue. Players' morale must constantly be monitored, and players often have their own motivations, which can be a pain to deal with. This can be frustrating, but it does a great job of mimicking real life. Player growth finally works, with young players growing in skill and old players losing physical attributes. For the first few seasons, it is great to see the big players of today get old while young talent develops into superstars. While the system is solid, the game grows unbalanced by the end of the 15 seasons. 
Most teams have a low amount of talent after around 10 seasons, since the AI is often incapable of making smart decisions during the transfer windows. The visuals in FIFA 12 are well polished, and the game looks better than ever. The development of new facial technology gives the game's top players an uncanny sense of realism. The overall look of the game is solid, and it really feels authentic. However, crowds can look poor graphically, and the bodies of some players still look stocky and disproportionate. FIFA 12 has been greatly improved over its predecessors. The trinity of gameplay innovations provide for a totally redefined experience that feels closer to the real thing than ever before. The combination of the three allows for more time on the ball and a more realistic rhythm to the game. Minus the steep learning curve, the controls are deep and fluid, making for an excellent experience. When it comes to the world of virtual soccer, FIFA still remains king.